your tax dollars at work. It was a brand new vehicle. They purchased it without going out for bid. A house of cards where all of the risk is on you. Five or six hundred dollars at a casino. Um, the spending's out of control because nobody's watching. Questionable spending by small units of government or just plain fraud. We believe they fabricated a contract for purchase. Improper spending in many cases across the state. In places in central Illinois, like Shelbyville Township, over taxation to the extreme. I think they have reserves, uh, give or take, of a million dollars plus. Shelbyville Township legally taxed its citizens, but built up huge reserves which caught the eye of watchdogs and eventually lawmakers. The different funds um, have 20, 30, 40, 50 or more times their average annual expenses. So they are clearly uh, overtaxing the taxpayer to build these fund balances. State Representative Brad Halbrook recently sponsored legislation signed into law by Governor Rauner, capping the levels in which townships can tax their property owners, citing Shelbyville Township as a prime example. They could zero out those levies for many years. To compound matters, Shelbyville Township gave away tax dollars totaling $93,000 as donations to groups like Post Prom, the American Legion, senior citizens, and various sports teams. In some cases, they were just sitting on it. In other cases, they were giving it out to just about anybody that asked. The controversy led to some being defeated at the ballot box with at least one resignation. I would like to uh, resign my uh, current position as uh, township supervisor. Now, while Shelbyville Township doled out tens of thousands of dollars, townships across Illinois are playing fast and loose with your tax dollars. Mattoon Township handed out taxpayer dollars for donations to religious organizations like the First Christian Church and Catholic Charities. No, we don't hate Catholics, uh, but the fact is the Constitution forbids that type of a transaction. For one township, the distribution of gift cards has raised questions. We have found it to be the number one means of fraud across the state. Decatur Township's expenditures on Walmart gift cards were over $100,000 in the 2016-2017 fiscal year, a number which the township says will be much lower in the coming year. We've cut our clients uh, from 230. We have 115 active clients now. Decatur Township provides individuals with no income general assistance, totaling $100 a month. Towards their rent, their power, their water, whatever the balance is left, that's what we put on a Walmart card. The amounts paid out through gift cards has been substantial. $22,000 for the now closed Kmart indicator and $123,000 for use at a local Walmart in just one fiscal year. We've got it down to clients who are disabled and have applied for Social Security Disability. We get reimbursed. When they get uh, approved, we've got the paperwork on hand and we get reimbursed from the state. Township Supervisor Lisa Stanley tells me there are controls in place with Walmart to make sure gift cards are used only for essential items. The cashier doesn't give them the receipt. They send the receipts back to us and we, we attach it with their, with their voucher. There was a guy that tried to buy a grill with his card, his Walmart card, and Walmart called and said, is this okay? And I'm like, absolutely not. Stanley tells me general assistance has been cut from $419,000 a year down to a budgeted $200,000. With a more than 50% reduction, could taxpayers benefit? Is that a levy that could be lowered? Well, I, that's a good question. I, we can talk about that. Could you reduce the levy, do you think? Because you don't need the money anymore, right? Well, it's, it's, we, could, we could definitely look at that. Because our, even our salary, GA salary line is, is cut drastically. Decatur Township says it has spent $33,000 in Walmart gift cards in the current fiscal year and anticipates it will spend far less on those cards this year than in the previous year. For the I-Team, Doug Wolf, WAND News.